Howdy. Hi, yeah. So I thought we would Hopefully. start. We would start Hopefully. off with um, Dan reviewed my. I've got two open pull requests. One is still a work in progress, but the other one Dan reviewed, and he had a couple comments. I thought we might fix those real quick. Sure. Okay, so I'll go ahead and share my screen. And I haven't loaded anything up to start, so we'll start wherever you want. Yeah, let me, I'll find the branch name that you need to pull down. Hang on just a second. <clears throat> um, Okay, I just posted the branch name in the dungeon wall. So why don't you start up Hydra? Or Hyper, rather, not Hydra. And then make the font a little bit bigger. Okay. So now you can do a git fetch. And you have my... Uh, this has my bash RC in it. Just do CO space and then that branch name, which is feet slash add Joe I think it does. You should just be able to type like F E and hit tab and see if it will complete type add. You got to start typing something since that's an ambiguous. So type add and hit tab. There you go. Your branch is behind, so do a pull, just like put P-U-L-L. -L. And hit enter. <clears throat> okay. Do a get status real quick, just to make sure everything is kosher. Okay, um, let's look at, so yeah, scroll down in the web browser, scroll down to where Dan's comments are. There you go. Okay, so this first one is in packages, design system, Hang on. Go back to the conversation, which is that first tab up at the top. It says conversation next to commits. Sorry, no. In the, yeah, down there. Okay, it's in packages, design system, source, status, submit button. Yeah. No, yeah, copy the whole thing. You can do it that way. Um, code, space, and then capital S, T, and hit tab. 
It's that status submit button. <clears throat> and kick up that font size a little bit too. Okay, so his complaint was on line 18, that SX equals and then hover. That is one way that you can have a hover CSS style, but the better way to do it. So remove SS, SX equals and the braces and the open quote and the colon. And just have, okay, remove the colon too. Okay, see how the line above it is underscore focus? You want this to be underscore hover. Mm -hmm. And then equals. And, yeah. And then two open braces. And change rotate hue to hue rotate. It says filter rotate hue minus 90. That was what the reason I was using the SX was I was trying to figure out why it wouldn't work. And the reason it wouldn't work was because I had rotate hue and not hue rotate. And after the minus 90, it says hue rotate minus 90. Put DEG after the minus 90 for degrees. Inside the princess, yeah. Okay, so that fixes that. Go back to the pull request and scroll down. Okay, this next one is in packages, utils, source, did, index. Yeah, and you can do, go back, go to, um, go back to hyper. And do. Uh, I think I just lost it. Where where hit show resolved? Where where did it go? See where on the the line that says packages utils. Okay. Yeah, show resolved. Um, no, that one's resolved. Go down to the one below it. Why did it go away? That's interesting. I, I don't didn't know, know which one was could, it. I didn't know that it's that second one. It's a mega menu. It's not the dids. So it's packages, web components, mega menu, mega menu. Okay. So when I highlighted it, it closes for yeah, some. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't okay. even know that you could do that. So well, hang on. Do you close the you need the C D back down to the game repository. So cd space dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash I think three sets of dot dots, yeah. And now hit the up arrow twice and hit enter. And that should work. Okay, and if you go back to the pull request, it'll show you what line it was on. I don't even know where it is in this file. It's that I used pixel values rather than EM values. And EM is the width of the M character. It, the number of pixels and the width of an M character. It ends up being 16 pixels. So, so it's on line 103. I need... So change the 36 to... Uh, Okay, so 36, 30, I need to know, what's 36 divided by 16? I got a calculator here. Two. Oh, th oh no, two, no. Two and a quarter. It's uh, 18. Okay, so two and a quarter. Oh, what did you ask? So, yes. But, so it would be, it would be 2.25 rem, which is... I think, let me look up, well, go on, go to, I, no, see, we're not using pixel values is the reason that we're, we're changing this. 
Do you know how Shocker you can put in numbers rather than rim or pixel values for some like spacing characteristics? Mm -hmm. Go to ChakraUI.com. Chakra-UI.com. Yep. And see if the spacing pr prints anything. Change the spacing, changing the spacing. Hang on, there it was. I saw it, actually. Hang on, I clicked and lost the screen. So we want 2.25 REM is 9. So put a 9 in there. So 36 divided by 16 is 2.25, which is 9. And 45 divided by 16... is approximately something, I don't know, I closed the calculator. 45 divided by 16 is 2 point, three, I think. So it's essentially 2 and 3 quarters. So is there a 2.75? No, there's a 2.5 and there's a 3. So do, well, no, try. I mean, there's a gap, there's a 10 to 12. But... I think that, that means that 11 isn't defined. So just put in 12. And then nine again at the end because thirty six was nine. Use breakpoint value if it runs in like Next.js where there's no window, it will return null, and so you have to give it a, a value to use when it runs in Next.js. So 45 again was 12. And 60 divided by 16. 3.75. Is there a 3 and 3 quarters in that spacing chart? There's a 3.5 and a 4? No, 3.5 to 4. Let's do 16 for LG. And then uh, 12 in the place of 45. And now on change... I took out icon size that was in here. Yes, that's, took out... that's okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, that is okay. Want me to get rid of this now or just leave it? <sighs> yeah, just get rid of it. Um, go down. Okay, so change on line 103. Change const width to just W. And the height to just H. Okay, now on line 122. Okay, no, 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 no. So where the W equals is, on line 122 at the beginning of the line, yep. put an open brace. Three dots. Another, another open brace. Space. W, comma, space, H. Space, two closed braces. Are you familiar with this syntax? 
And th and then everything after the equals you no. can take out. If you have variable names that are the same as attribute names, you can specify them like that. And you don't have to put like W equals W. You can just do a spread is what that's called. Yeah, take out every take out the equal sign and everything after it. You said get rid of everything after the equals. No, 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 no. Just just on that line. To where the the end tag? No. No, no, no. Just get rid of the equal sign on that on that line. And get rid of the H on the next line. That whole next line. 123, take it out. And save. And now let's run it and make sure everything's kosher. Uh... Um, well, go ahead and run yarn, yarn type yarn check dev. just to be sure run yarn well yeah run yarn type check in this window and then do a control shift T oh that'll work too and do a docker dash compose up dash dash or do a run yarn real quick Okay, and now Docker Compose up dash dash build. Okay, now. Oh, what was? It? Oh, do a. Uh, Got an error. Sudo Postgres SQL stop. Postgres. Sudo service Postgres SQL stop. Service before Postgres SQL. Or actually, it says host is already. Maybe. Yeah, go ahead and try this. Make sure. All lowercase, right? SQL. Yeah, all lowercase. Postgres SQL. Two S's in that one? Postgres, no, just one. SQL. Just one S. Stop. One yes. S. Okay. Stop, but just one S. And then stop. Yep. How do I kill one of these terminals again? Control D. And now control shift T will open another tab. Are you hitting control shift D or control shift T? T is in Tom. D because I, I like to open them like, okay, no, if you want to do it, this I, way, I like to open can. them side by side for now. That's fine. I lose track of what's behind it. Yeah. For now. Okay. So run yeah. yarn web dev. Okay. And uh, now I can do or web colon dev yarn web colon dev. I'm so delayed today. On everybody's audio that is strange I'm like at least delayed like five seconds it's got to be on my side yeah because okay. dan and i were we're coming through okay. i might shut my computer down but we'll see as far as we can go if it gets frustrating okay Web colon dev. That no is no start. Just yarn web colon dev. I tried to fix that error with the browsers list is out of date. I tried to fix that and I couldn't get it to fix. I'm gonna try again later. Okay, yeah, reload in the, the browser. Okay, so what we just changed 
was make the window wider. Wide enough that the bar disappears at the bottom. Yeah. Um, hover over the metagame icon in the upper left-hand corner. I don't think that's too big. We made it slightly okay, bigger. Okay, I'm at 200% size for my screen right now. Let's okay. start with that. We made that slightly bigger because there was no shocker spacing value for the exact value that it was before in pixels, but I think that's fine. Um, so we changed that and we changed, click on connect in the upper right hand corner. Did you hit reload or did it just reload on its own? Um, I reloaded. Okay. Okay. Click on your click on the profile picture and then With view that. your profile. Yeah, this is this is the first time that account is connecting to this particular data. It, it doesn't exist in this database. So it, you just create a new account for you. Got it. And that worked. Before that was when you clicked that, it was coming back with the connect button again. So it has no profile picture, but it has a biography. This looks old, though. Is it from, Yeah, but that's an old one. Is it from three box? I don't think <laughs> I don't think so. Because this is the one we keep messing I think this is one we keep messing around with, that Regency one. Go to self.id real quick. I mean we quick. could just check, but no, this doesn't seem like this is my correct. Yeah. Every time I do a profile now with you, it's like I'm, I'm going to tag it with a, the date we're doing it. Yeah. But remember, I've got Ten Finney is the one that's attached to metagame, and Regency is the other one. So let me let me go connect to Ten Finney and see what happens. Okay. It's actually, it's not that big a deal. We're not going to go in depth into this pull request because there's another pull request okay. that's based off of this one that has a bunch of changes in it. And so something could be broken in this that's fixed in that one. It's, we don't have to really worry about it. I just wanted to see. So yeah, no profile picture for you. And Okay, so that, okay, that I need to see if it says one four. Let me see. <clears throat> Yeah, it should have it should have had that date in here, that one four. Huh. It's not in there for ten finney. But I think I did connect through Regency though, so let, let me like disconnect and then account disconnect, and now I'm going to connect with ten finney, and then maybe it'll update right. So I'm on ten finney. I'm going to well, manually click reload. The, click the go back to MetaMask again. Hang on. Our See, delay is, is really messing us up. I'm way ahead of where you're talking. I think... I, I, I Did you look at what name it said in the upper left-hand corner of the MetaMask thing when it popped up? Did it say Tenfinny or did it say... I would click on the MetaMask icon and then click on the connected button. Well, we'll do it again. Well, click on the connected button and disconnect the other, disconnect all the accounts from metagame. So click on the connect, yeah, click on that button. There's a lot of connected accounts. <laughs> There's not like a disconnect. Yeah, everything how can button. I disconnect them all? Do I have to do them individually, you think? I, I don't know of any other way. There's not. 
Well, you can click the connect button again, but don't click through. Yeah. It might have been Tenfinny. It was that orange circle. I thought that it said something else. When I, if you read, did you did you double check when you clicked on the connect button, and that that signatures page came up? Did you double check that it said Tenfinny up at the top of that screen? It did not because I was logging in under my Regency account, which is now trapped right here in the browser. That's Regency. So I need okay. to clear that out. And we've done this before. It's almost like well, I have just, to go that's back just to the URL. That's just, players. That's just like I got to do that, I think. Yeah. But that's where my bio was listing. It was listing the, the, the wrong bio. So I'm going to start again by going. I want to make sure I'm on 10 Finney, which I am. Okay, hit I'm the connect, connect button and then don't it's hit, gonna go out hit that. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. Right now. Okay, so it does say 10 Finney up at the top of that screen. That's what I was okay. wanting to double check. Right, and now we're good. That That's my picture from one of my self IDs. I should now be able to find myself. Click. But look, I mean, this one's really old here. This thing's that, like ancient. That well, it click back. Look at the Hasura. Um. The Hasura log in Hyper, where it says where it has um. If you look at, yeah, there's an Ethereum address. About halfway through that that list of things from the back end it says back end underscore one on the left hand side of the screen and then about the middle of the screen it says ethereum address and it's 0x7b03 is that the tenfinny account that's tenfinny yeah it says it pulled yeah. down a name, description, location, website, and profile image. So try reloading the page. But this again might get hung yeah, up. But this, but go ahead. Because it needs a requery. Yeah, it might. Next.js might not have redone the page yet. Like you're saying it needs to requery. Yeah. Well, it did requery. That's what that back end, that's what that message is saying is that it has updated the cache. But Next.js may be caching the page. Go ahead and look at it, that profile in self.id and make sure that the, the description looks like you think it should. Shit, I just stopped the database. No, that's fine. It, it should start back up pretty quick. So you'll probably have to log out. Click on the profile picture in the upper. Now there's a number at the beginning of it and there's not on my meta, right? Yeah, we have to remember that's the 652E. Okay. 652E, that's Tenfinny. And I have it as 0201. And this is what was querying in um, current my meta. So if I go into my meta, um, is that what it's called? My.metagame.wtf. So when this queries, it is going to have this correct profile right here. Okay, yeah, it's, it's possible it, that Next.js is taking some time. Yeah. Okay. So we're not going to worry about that 
Yeah, it looks like. Well, I wanted you to bring up the profile editing page. I wanted you to bring up the profile editing pane on localhost. Okay. okay, I'll do that just so you can see that though. You see this this appears to be accurate, correct? Yep. Because it's got that at the beginning, zero two zero one. Okay. And you want me to go back where now? To localhost. And now click the profile edit icon next to on your on the it's called the player hero, that bit with your picture on it. And now hover over the Save Changes button at the bottom. It didn't change colors. It was supposed to change colors, but I'm not going to worry about it. It doesn't really matter. Um, that's what That was the other change that we made was to that button. And that was the Hue Rotate on Hover. And I don't know why... It's not rotating in hue, but it's again, it is working in the next pull request. So we can go ahead and commit these changes. And maybe we didn't do it in hover because it, it highlights when I click it. So it gives a little bit of the border around it. So maybe we just had the wrong. I tag. don't know. Go back. I mean, real quick, let's look at, look like let's look at the code real on quick. Hover, but when I click it, yeah, there's a it, there's a focus event that is also I think there's a change in brightness on focus. That was if you go well, never mind. You've closed that window in hyper, I think. Um, you can go to home and then just the game. Home on the right hand yeah, or the left hand side. Yeah, it's that here? What? status submit button. I think I'm in there. Yeah, I think you got it too. But it click in, uh, in there under so it's packages. Web no. Packages design system. Design system is where the status submit button is. And then source. No, not, yeah, source. And then status submit button. And we've got underscore focus. Filter. Hue rotate minus 90 degrees. Border, two pixels, solid green. I don't know why that's not showing it up. It does it when I click it. That is the focus. There, you see how there was it does a it bug? when I hold it down. You see that? When I click it. Okay. okay. Huh. Oh, again, I'm not worrying about it because it, this pull request doesn't really matter. So, I mean, it matters because it's got a bunch of stuff that needs to go in in it. But this particular aspect of this particular pull request is not that important. I just wanted to see if it was working, and I don't know why it's not. Q rotate minus 90 degrees. It should work. I don't know why it doesn't. Okay, so, uh, yeah, go back to Hyper. And do a Control-Shift-T, or you can do a Control-Shift-D and just make the window wider, either way. I'll do a Control-Shift-T now. Okay. CD of the game. Type S and hit enter. Type D and hit enter. Did 
That looks like what we changed, and it looks all good to me. So now T, the letter T is in Tom. Code review request requests. Code review requests from at sign Dan thirteen Ram. I'm pretty sure is also his GitHub username. You missed an N on Dan. Click on, go back to the pull request real quick and just 100% check that his username is actually Dan13Ram. Yep. Yep. I think this delay is driving me crazy enough that I'm going to either let's check my resources or let me just reboot my computer. Yeah, yeah. Go, well, let's get this done and then do – so let's do this and one other thing and okay. then you can reboot. So just hit enter for the – Okay. So enter. Yep. And after that completes, type GP and hit enter. Oh, oh, wait, 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 yeah, type, no, uh, hit control C. Type E-B, like Edward Bailey, hit enter. Search for T and then open parenthesis. Okay, this is, we had to do this before because I sign my commits and you don't. So take out the, so on there's line, on line 171 and on line, go back, yeah, on line 171 and 173, take out the dash S. Yep, save the file. And then back in hyper, type RB and hit enter. You have to reload the bash. You have to reload your bash RC or it won't take effect. And now hit the up arrow twice to get, or three, yeah, the T, the T, the one with T is the one you want. That's the nice thing about being able to type it in on the command line is if you screw it up, you can redo it really easily. Heck yeah. Another command I was going to tell you about is the U command will undo the last commit. So like if you discovered that you wanted to make a change and have it included in the last commit that you did, you can do it that way. So type GP and hit enter. That's nice. It's, it's handy, especially because sometimes git push, this GP command will fail, and you want to include like some little TypeScript thing that it caught, caught up on. Okay, so one last thing and we're done for with this little bit. Just go back to the pull request real quick. Uh, 
and reload the page. Scroll up to Dan's comments. Yeah, see how they say outdated at the top now? You can click Resolve Conversation for both of them. There's a Resolve Conversation button down at the, like in the middle of the page. Yep. And you can resolve the other one too. Okay, cool. You want to reboot and we'll reconvene in like five minutes? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. I can understand.
Okay, let's see if this is better. Testing, testing. Hey, am I delayed? Are you delayed? Delay. I'm speaking now. Are you hearing me? Speaking now. I think we're okay. Cool. All right. Okay, so now let's switch to uh, the other branch, which I will post in the dungeon walls. doesn't seem right. What? Didn't like my CD the game. Did we reset something in Bash? Really? Do LS and hit enter? There's a directory called the game. If you hit tab... If you do CD space, like, capital T and T-H-E and hit tab. That just gives me a bump, 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 my headset. Okay. Um, if you do LS and then the game... Oh, uh, do LS dash L the game. Well, so uh, is Media Titan a mounted drive? Oh, yeah, you got it. I forgot to mount my drives when I rebooted. Yeah. Okay, do sudo service postgresql stop because it should have started back up. Okay. And now, hang on. Do first do um, get, copy that branch name out of the dungeon walls and just co space and then that branch name hang on wait 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 um okay so i have forced push this since you last pulled it you don't want to do a get pull because you'll get a bunch of merge requests you get a, yeah you want to do get Reset dash dash hard origin slash feet slash wizard pains. Now type S and hit enter. Okay, yeah, you're fine now. Now pull. Uh, no, you shouldn't. You should be up to date. You ran a git fetch a little while ago and it pulled down the most recent version, which is what you just reset to. 
Yeah, you should be able to run Docker Compose up and... I don't think you need to... Yeah, you don't You don't have to run Yarn before you run Docker Compose up anyway. Because Docker runs Yarn internally. Don't, I don't, and I don't need to build. You do... Um, I would run dash dash build. I would run Docker Compose up dash dash build. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you can do a web dev here. You can do it. Oh, you got a CD to the game. I'll try it this way now. Yeah, I mean, you. Don't, I mean, unless you're watching the console constantly, it doesn't. And again, if you hit control shift and then the arrow keys it'll move it between tabs and you even showed me a way like i can name those tabs if yes ever got the set crazy. set s-e-t-t-i-t-l-e -T -T -E, set title will change the names is that part of your bash yes that's in my bash rc cool because i did it manually after you told me about it and it was kind of a pain in the ass but now that i know the command it was s s Set title. S E T T I T L E. S C T one T set two T set title and then whatever just you want it to space. be. Yeah. Cool. Gotta remember that little guy. Okay. So start up a web browser. Let's see how this site runs. Are you just sharing your hyper screen? Uh, no, I should be sharing. I don't see a web browser. Browsers. Do you have a web browser open? Yeah, I got two of them open. I so. don't. I only see hyper. Okay. Okay, I got web. I got browsers now. Okay, um, I guess, yeah, let's, let's just do a, like, log in and, okay, so down at the bottom it is currently, oh, it's waiting for you to log into MetaMask. Yeah, I still don't handle, if you were on a different chain, it would screw things up, and I haven't dealt with that yet. So just stay on mainnet. I'll go three wide on each. Okay. It's so hard to grab the edge of these windows in my Linux. Okay, so this one is already connected, so let me disconnect this, and we'll go through that little procedure. Okay. Okay. So I'm back at the same place on both, both with my primary account already linked, attached, and connected to. Do we want that, or do we want to start with disconnected? Or are we um, pretty good there? 
you can go ahead. Let's just, yeah, let's just try it out and see if it works for your existing account. Okay, yeah, look at, go view your profile. The numbers are different. Yeah, the XP numbers are... Way off. It's weird so that they're, the top row. they're different between the two browsers is interesting. Yeah. yeah. But refresh. this, well, okay, so it's pulling that data from the ledger, and the ledger is getting rewritten constantly currently and it's not yeah. ever completing and where those numbers being screwed up is not anything that another i could matched. have done another matched okay yeah got it okay uh so you said go into my yeah click profile. on your profile picture or yeah or click on your profile there okay so this is old that's uh, we've not worried about it no, that's to be expected because this is, yeah. Okay. Okay. Does it look the same. Well, yeah. Have. Go ahead. You don't have a username, which is interesting. This account should have a username. Do Yarn Hasura console in the on in Hyper. Yarn space Hasura space console. Oh, you got CD of the game again. Um, click on the data tab. And then click on the player table in the, yeah. And for call uh, up at the top where it says column and then op and value, change column to ether, ethernet ethereum address, change operation to I like, and paste in your ethereum address from MetaMask. Hit run query. Okay, go scroll to the right. Okay. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for profile. So to the right. It'll be to the right somewhere. Yeah, click on... Where it says profile, click view. So there's a number. So both your name is different and there's a number at the beginning of it for... Mm -hmm. For ceramic. So this is staying persistent with mine. You're saying this should update based on what it's capturing from ceramic? Um, it's not. So click on... Go back to hyper and go to the first tab and scroll up a little bit see if there's a huh I was expecting to see there were yeah one of those the back end completed profile update that ethereum address in that profile update is your ethereum address the 7b03 yeah 
And the DID is the same too. It's the A six fifty two E was what yeah. I'm pretty sure it was what it was that you looked at before. Yeah. So the, so this is what like in a proper system, this whatever this field is, this player profile would want to get updated by whatever is getting delivered in here. Well, what it's saying that that log statement prints out after the update is complete. So theoretically it should be go back go back to the Hasura console again. Look in okay. See, if you look right above that where it prints out in the Hasura console, or, and I'm sorry, in the, the Hasura logs, yeah. the There's a an Hasura statement right above all those back-end statements, and that's where it's actually writing to the database. What it's writing to the database is... So it's getting it from the oldest version of 3Box. It's the only other place that information would be, from my perspective. It's like, huh? This is a little bit older for me, you know. It's like I was, I haven't been using one law recently. That's like, Click, like two years. Go ago. back to, uh, like, go back to uh, the logs again. That doesn't even render anymore. Because look at that, look at that that's something old where I just have like IPFS forward slash and then a hash that doesn't even resolve anymore if you had the ipfs companion installed that would work but we don't we have to worry okay, about that right, right now yeah. okay so you said go where go back to the logs what is the back end no extended profile for scroll up a little bit more we're looking for another back end statement there should be one saying whether or not you had. No. Okay, that's fine. I think that it doesn't print anything out if it finds a profile. So it found a basic profile and loaded it. And yeah. so. Uh, But in self.id, your name, your username has a number after it, right? In self.id? Yeah. So for sure, we've just verified that. There would have been no way for me even to get that far. So that is my official connected Tenfinny account to self-ID. Where this is querying from must be like that old thing. I mean, I, and it doesn't even sound like it's that glaze or what, whatever, clay. Because I'm this profile that it's querying is like something that I was only working on like two years ago. So maybe we just don't worry about me specifically because I, mean, I guess there is a use case that other pe that's going to happen to other people, but it's not like pressing right now. Well, like no, I mean, if, if, it's, if, one law. if it is for some reason pulling, it's not updating the data, that's a problem. Like that's something we need to figure out. Okay. But well, let's I'll stick test. with that because I'll learn a lot there. It's like I want to learn about Husser and the database and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's not exactly what we had planned to do today, but well, we can look at well, let yeah, let's look at what the that theoretically this pull request is about, which is go back to your profile and click on the edit profile button. All of the stuff for this is in the front end. This pull request is all about the front end. It really doesn't change anything in Hasura. So like, change your display name, add an availability, and select a time zone. I guess I just meant where this is querying. At some at some point, we this player field is getting updated, and we should be able to find directly where this is coming from. If you're telling me this isn't persistent and just lives in the database, that it goes out and queries, which it apparently actually, does. 
Yeah, go go back to your profile page again. Okay, at the end of your profile URL, at the end of the URL, put a question mark, and then debug equals tr equals T, and hit enter to reload the page. Now, it's interesting that it went from three con. This is all funky. Like, I dealt some with this, the code for making these dynamic layouts so that you can edit the layout, and mm -hmm. it is a mess. It's just, it's there's a type of code called spaghetti code, and it is a huge pile of spaghetti. Like, it's just one thing is connected to another. Is connected perfectly, to another. perfectly named. Yeah. Beware the spaghetti code. But click the edit, the profile edit button. And now change your display name. And add a number under availability. And pick a time zone. And hit save changes. Okay. It'll come up under console when it comes up. Okay, now click back. Don't reload the page. Yeah, see how your display name has changed? Yep. That happened directly from within the, the application. Like, it didn't go back to Hasura to get that value. Hasura... Now, if I reload, if I reload on the right-hand side, is it going to pick that up now? Or is it, it still well, stuck you, in? You'll have to look at... Go back to Hasura again. The logs, the Hasura logs. Scroll down... And see if there's another one of those profile updates somewhere. Completed profile ID, success true, fields name, time zone, and available hours. And it logged it here. It's good. So, yes. So, if you reload, unless next.js is holding on to a cached version of the page, it should update. This is, oh wait, see those dots? Hover over it and it should give you the whole thing. Okay, we're good. So that all worked. Yeah. And I did see that it queried also right away. Yeah. I was able to pick it up. Okay. All right. All right. Car. So scroll down in this page. So and certain then... people like me, we're just going to have to manually update it and see what happens. Like, is there a way for me to now push my new ceramic just to cover this up or am i just going to have to do it by cutting and pasting in there if into you the bio? if you edit that description in right here right there it should write it to ceramic well let's test it wait i don't even have a bio in here maybe that's why nothing's getting updated Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that... where did my bio come from from the existing my meta? If you didn't have a bio in there, but you don't, but you have images, and there were no images in the self.id profile. Let me get this out. It's what is it again? It's my meta. My dot meta game. My meta. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to confuse myself a little bit. Like, why is this one then getting the correct content? 
Okay. I'll go ahead and connect in here. Infinity, my meta. I don't even remember what the state of this was the last as we haven't deployed developed to master what's supposed to happen on Friday of this week. That hasn't happened in a while. Since the end of last season, which was a couple like a month ago. Uh, and the one that okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, see, like, <laughs> the weird thing is, this about is the right one. Like, so uh, the thing we're about ready to, like, cover up is the one that's querying properly. And I, I, I would say, where the hell is this coming from, this about thing? I thought that was in ceramic. I thought it would have been right in here. Okay. Um like am I like am I really logged into the right profile? No, yeah, I mean five two e. Okay. Um, Where the hell is this coming from now? Can we even find this in Azura? I guess we'd have to, right? This is our existing. No, what my... was showing up in Azura was the one that's showing up on the site over here. So where's this? Like, is this like, is, it can't be saved in my browser. No. Okay. So uh, <laughs> this is, and what, what I'm curious about is if you reload this page, uh, if it's going to go away. No. Oh, no, it's not going to go away because it's been here for days. But every time when you visit this page, it causes ceramic okay. to reload or it causes a server to reload the cache from ceramic. Okay. So you think maybe we uploaded it? Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Okay. So there you go. So it updated right here. So if you want to save that text, you could copy it from that. Right here. Okay. I'll try it. Okay. Now, right now there's no, there's nothing, right? Well, go to localhost because this is this is oh that's right that's okay. all that exists on that's part of the what I've been working on is that profile editing gotcha, form. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it in here. Oh, what? Okay, and then I'll change the top date now again to. But I'm going to have to check because I think that what it did is it overwrote your profile with an empty. Yeah, no, with an empty self ID because there was nothing in here, which I thought this is I thought I had something in here. So I don't know if self ID cleared out the cache, or like cleared everybody's account. But I, I certainly when I set this up would have put a little bio in there because that's yeah. what this was. So I'm not going to sweat it. And they, they had to clear it. They had to clear it. No, I, we, I think that what happened is when you saved your name earlier, it also saved empty values for everything else, including the Oh, uh, when I changed my name up here? Yes. When you changed oh. it in in the localhost my meta. Huh. Interesting. So it went out and it... it it just overrode as like an empty account over the top, keeping the same DID, but clearing all the data. Yeah, like it, it saved all it of the no fields. It's not supposed to save the fields unless they have a value. Uh -huh. well, that's I don't cool. know I mean, that's why crazy. it saved those fields. I got to, that's something I'm going to have to look into. I'm, yeah, I'm okay, taking well, notes. Okay, well, I'm going to go forward now and continue the DID stuff. Yeah. And then if everything is done right, it will show up right here in the bio, I assume. That's where it's pushing it, right? Okay. So. Uh... Yeah, now it makes sense. Okay, now it's all working correctly. And that makes sense. It just cleared all the previous data out. Yeah, I don't know where your images are. Oh, where they're even coming from? Well, why they're still showing up 
in my meta and they're not showing up in self.id because they're they're did you do something about the storage that you they go into Hasura and then they're also like re- they're in, they're in IPFS yeah but you used a special storage layer on that right you fired them out and then brought that back into Hasura yes but it's an IPFS URL, which it's, that should be working. I got I to double check that. What I'm saying is it's not in self-ID. Self-ID got covered up a few minutes ago, but you're like, why are the images showing? Because they're still stuck in, they're still in Hasura. Because it's still pointing out to that immutable resource out there. It has nothing to do with ceramic. Unless, you th- unless you're telling me to only queries okay, ceramic. Okay, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So yeah. go back to the window where you had debug equals T set. Look at the console. Okay, so um, I don't see, think it's this one. Well, it is that one. Go to, see at the bottom yeah. where it says basic profile ceramic colon. Yep. Copy that ceramic colon URL. Well, that's different than that. Maybe okay. That's a ceramic. That's a ceramic stream ID. It's, yeah, it should look. Into- so no, I want you to go to the console to hyper and go to and the third tab and do uh, well, actually do another tab, another yeah, another control shift T. Type ceramic and hit enter. Do you have the ceramic CLI installed? Yes. Type ceramic. Um, show, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's ceramic config is what I need to look at. Config show. Okay, so it's, uh, oh, oh, actually this won't work anymore. <laughs> um, so type this is set to access the metagame ceramic instance, but it mm-hmm. will try to connect on port 7007, which we no longer are running that on port 7007. So do ceramic config set ceramic host capital host And then HTTPS colon slash slash ceramic dot metagame dot WTF. Okay. And now you should be able to do ceramic space show space and then that thing that you just copied out of the browser. Then I copied out of where? The browser, that ceramic URL. Oh, uh, down in the the uh, oh down here, yeah, in the console. There we go. Okay, so there's no images in there. So where did this come from? It is being cached by something. Reload the page. So they should just disappear. <clears throat> yes. Except for this face wall. Well, no, both of there. them. There's no it, all that is in your basic profile is a name and a description. And this one's still the old one. So let me reload that. Oh. Well, so that should update soon. That's still old. Well, go to the Hasura console in the web browser. Click on the player tab. Do the search for your... Yeah. And then scroll to the right and click on profile. Okay. 
such as Lux. Correct there. So, okay, so yeah, it is. That's just next then, taking its time to, to upload. And it should show up here, though. Also in my meta. No, the my, well, the my metagame WTF will eventually update, yes. Okay. But I, I have no idea how long that will take. Okay, so we'll just be patient with that. Um... Not everything has to be instant. But it is in there. Should I put an image in there? Is that the right yeah, thing? Yeah, go test? ahead and go ahead and go back to the local host my meta. And yeah, click on the edit. And go ahead and set a profile image and a header image. But it definitely should not have cleared out your profile. That's that's something that I was worried was going to happen for another reason and that's a yeah, that's a definitely bad behavior on part of the program. How big is that image? Small. Okay. 400 by 400. Okay, yeah, this is usually pretty quick. <laughs> Should I try to step on it by doing another picture on the right? I mean the left? <clears throat> you could try. It shouldn't. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, so this is an angled hex. I would expect it to have errored out if it was going to fail. Yeah, click the network tab. I just refreshed it to see what happened. Okay. It's not going to show up in self.id because it has the at first it uploads to web three dot storage and then the next step is it updates ceramic. Got it. So it, it never will. got past okay. the upload. That's open C. Oh, that's open C. The, that's Come those on. NFTs that aren't loading. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Try one more time to uh, upload an image. And you have in your .env file you have a web three web three storage token or whatever it was called. Yes, we can look though. I'm pretty. I remember generating one. I just didn't know if you'd switch machines if it was on this machine. I think we actually ended up doing it on on both. Okay, because it should. Yourself. The thing is, is that it should give you an error though. If there's no token, it should. I mean, you should get an error back. Okay, it picked up the the second image, the banner. Which you saved in the other browser? Did I one of the browsers? What I did first, I think I did my image first here. Yeah, so this was my second attempt. So I'm going to refresh this, and it at least should pick up. 
that angled hex. There we go. So it picked up the angled hex. Okay. But it did not it did not pick up what I did in I think this is uh chrome on this side. How do I tell? Is this chrome on the right? Um yeah, that's chrome. Yeah. I guess I could do it like this. Okay, so Chrome it it air it didn't pick up the change. <clears throat> So I'll try it again. I'll try to change my image over here to blue drops. Save changes. And you said I should be watching the console here? Um, the network. For this one, you watch... Yeah, you watch the... And there should be that that post to storage. See, after all the the green two hundreds, there's a line that says post. Oh, okay. I understand why there's no headers. Actually, go back to that that real quick. Can you scroll up in that window, or does that that's the top, the the stack trace is actually what I'm curious about. No, it doesn't let me scroll. What up. is line three thirty eight in? If you go in VS Code. Oh, it changed to the drops. It eventually uploaded. Okay. Uh, I don't even have VS Code open right now. So I should get that open. Well, it looks like it, it looks like it finally went through, so maybe it's not broken. Okay. Maybe it's just the web 3. storage is slow right now. Okay. So now so we're good here. So that image should show. Theoretically. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, so that all worked. Just slowly. Slowly. But that's not something that I can really do a lot about. I mean, I can switch where we're storing the images, but I'm going to wait and see. Because Web 3.storage has been relatively performant. Yeah, Maybe and I don't think that what we're working on needs to be instantaneous anyway. You know, yeah. I think that... Even if we have to give a little warning, be patient. You know, it takes a little while for this new technology to update. You know, yeah. Check back in thirty seconds, and then again in thirty seconds. Yeah, it would be nice if I could get it to do a pro uh, progress bar so that they could see what percentage of it was done. But I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I got other problems. Yeah, little React plugins. Um, click on the edit button next to pro next to color disposition. And select, uh, click some colors. Now, skills is broken. I know that skills is broken. Okay, so the, the color disposition work. Skills, I think you can change skills, but like Look, that. It says, it's, it says it's unspecified. Have you, re, have you reloaded the page? But I, I thought there were options. On this side, no, you maybe did. Not. Did you read? Yeah, did you just reload the other side? See, it's so it's changed it in ceramic. Now we have to wait for what's in ceramic to make it into Hasura, and then what's in Hasura to make it through next day S. Where did you see it? It gone um, already to Web three storage over here. 
just the no it um the page it I saw your profile icon change in the upper oh I see right hand corner okay so I'll... okay so I guess I should yeah I don't think it, I don't think the uploads are broken okay so we'll we'll just come back to that in a minute to see that that should have updated yes. And it did update within the browser. It updated after you saved it. And it wasn't until you reloaded the page that it disappeared. And there's nothing really that I can... I mean, I yeah, I can't really deal with that. A page reload clears out pretty much everything. So, um, Click on skills and try adding or removing a skill. I don't get why that's slow. And where are you going to see this change reflect down here? <clears throat> where it's so yes, that that it actually. Why is it? Why is it hung up? Go to the console real quick. Oh, of course. No, that's. I think that's the uh, Open C again. Oh yeah, you're right. I think that's seriously hung up. Um, no, this, see how it said writing to Sura for a really quick second? No, I was looking over the other browser. Okay, yeah, it says writing to Sura, and then... I think the setting local state is... is is hanging. I've got to do some more debugging on the skills, honestly. So we should see it over here, though, right? In the Hisura console? Not the Hisura. The Hisura yes, log. there should be a log message saying that it wrote the skills to into Hisura. You won't see one of those ceramic updates, those that, where it says the back end and it shows completed profile update. You won't see one of those, but you should see a Hasura getting written to with the skills. And the way the system actually works is it removes all the skills and then adds them all, adds the new set back in. So it clears the skills and then it adds whatever the skills that you just saved in, saved to the d database. Um... I think I'm going to have to spend some more time debugging the skills pane. I, I, I'm not done with it, as you can see, because the it's obviously off-center. And also, <coughs> you can't really see it, but there's a skills. It says skills below, where it says skills in white. It says skills in black. There's a, it's repeated, and the, yeah, I got to work on this. Yeah, I think it timed out. It's stalled. Okay. But no error. Just left. Um, scroll down in the thing. Can, is next.js still in your list of skills? Well, in the in the one where you changed it. In Chrome. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to do some more debugging on that one. I, I really don't know. Um, let's see. Let me make a note to check out skills. But the main thing that I was supposed to be working on, which is the optimistic updates, are working. Like when you make a change to uh, your profile, it immediately shows up there. If you reload That'll the page, work. it gets wonky. But as long as you don't reload the page, 
the information shows up. Yeah, website isn't currently displayed anywhere, so it's you can't you just can't see it. What did I just say? I was gonna write down something. There was something about oh the uh, skills, the skills. I need to look into the skills. Okay. Um, and did we say colored disposition should just show end up showing up? Eventually, you, theoretically, okay, you, is there a way to check it in Hasura that if did it pick that up? Yes. Um, click back in the Hasura log real quick. See where it says uh, it it lists what fields it updated or what fields it pulled from ceramic, and color mask is that is that set of fields. If you click back in the Hasura console in the web browser and click the uh, scroll to the right in so the upper window, the upper yeah, the upper part of that. You need to reload the profile, which I think you have to if you click on profile In that, yeah, in that upper bar there, there should be, a, it should say profile over to the right. One of the, yeah, one of the little things is, okay, yeah, hit close for profile. And then try, go back and scroll to the right again, and now profile will say view. Try looking at, it's called color... Mask is set to twenty eight, which I think is is the right. It's a bit mask. If you are you familiar with just binary numbers and the idea of binary numbers? Yeah, so twenty eight represents those three. Twenty eight in, in binary, something. yeah, would have the like red, white, blue, and red, or whatever wow. you had set. Set. Okay, so it did update. It's... Yep. Okay. It's just not made it through next yet to show up on the screen. And the website should be in there, yeah. So I made the change. Yeah. All right. Cool. cool. All right. Moving on. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think of what else other than the skills needs to work. It's got to be the NFTs. Well, the NFTs are broken in a completely different way. Like it has that has nothing to do with anything that I've done. That's okay. just. And it may be they updated the OpenCJS library about a month ago, and that's about when it broke. I suggested to Firat, I think is the guy's name, but he said he wanted to take the task, and I left a comment in GitHub, and we'll see if he picks it up. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else we need to really test out because the skills are broken, obviously, and that's fine. I, I kind of knew that. And the, But the basic profile editing works other than... I'm not sure what you did to cause it to spaz out like it did and remove everything except for your name. Is this the state of your medical lab currently? No, this this is no. I, it still says medical lab, but I'll, I could show you the medical lab. But this was the um, NFT thing I was telling you about, where you could just connect your wallet. Okay. Okay. So you connect your wallet, and then once it has the wallet, and then you can now post up any, oops, you can post up any address. I'll just happen to do the same address. Okay. And what it does is it goes out and it queries. So now what it's going to do, it's going to go query all my NFTs. Or it's supposed to. Okay. And then it also does something else. Remember, this was that Web3, Web3 UI hook. And you can also set a message on Rinkaby. But I don't know why it's not doing it because all my testing yesterday, it would just, it would just um, put all my NFTs down here. 
but like you said, that's still querying through open C. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't really ask. help us. But on the other one, on my Swag OX, where we did that, we were calling directly to the actual um, or subscribing for the events that would be able to provide us the URI and then rebuild for a particular NFT. NFT. For a particular NFT. Yeah. So I didn't know if we were going to get any mileage out of that, but <clears throat> we just have to keep sort of working with these. I mean, it, it appears that you believe that the, the shortest path of a solution is to continue to use the OpenSea API because the, what, or there's the like grant so money behind it. Okay. If we can get the OpenSea API to work, then yes, that's the way to go. If we can't, then the graph, because we need some way to find NFTs that we don't know about, that we don't have a contract address for. And that takes some sort of external system. Correct. And you said that there was an interface to do that. That it captures, it's like constantly watching the chains and anytime a certain event happens yeah like open up certain... one you you said you have like a 721 contract code why well, yeah i've got the gitcoin one which is kind of heavy but okay yeah it. why don't you open it up real quick and we'll see Um, it is called, uh, hang on, let me, I'm going to search the web real quick. Yeah, there should be a method called supports interface. Is there, <clears throat> you might not know, <clears throat> is there a way that I can search all of these smart contracts for that? Or is, do you know? If you do a, if you do a text search in the page, will it not search through all of them? Like control let's F? Let's try search source code. Okay, let's see what it does. What are we looking for? A method called what? Supports. And then capital interface. And I, I see it's, yeah. So it looks like it's an IERC 721, which is further uh, down. I think it was in 165 too. It's here. That's comment. That's a out. comment. Yeah, that's a comment giving the there yeah, there was a, a version of it. So if you look at like the IERC one sixty five, uh scroll down and look at the actual body of supports interface there. Oh, that is IER that's just the interface, right? That's not that doesn't include any implementations. Right. But maybe there's another instance of it. Yeah, there should be an actual implementation somewhere. Right here. This is really hard to work with. Well, that was the 165. Is there not one? I, then, I, there, then it's the IERC, which is the implementation, right? No, that's the interface. Oh, the interface. Okay. It doesn't include an implementation. Okay. Just the ERC-165 without the I is the implementation. Okay, so is this, I guess this is enough for me to get picked up on OpenSea, because I do get picked up on OpenSea. Um, okay, so well, I wanted you to look at, go click in the ERC-721 token not the IERC just the ERC scroll down in that one I just want to get the raw code out of there yeah that would work um 
Yeah, I'm expecting there to be a supports interface in here. There's not, huh? Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so search for that underscore register interface. Where is that coming from? Because what that's doing is that's adding this ERC there's a there is that number represents ERC 721 that that this contract is an ERC 721 that specific number every ERC 721 when it when you call supports interface it. with that number it will return true <laughs> and that's how you know that it's a 721 because it'll have all of these functions Yes. Somehow they like Merkle tree all this together or something. Yeah, actually they show you how they do it there. They do, they do, the Kekak is a hash. So they hash the signature of the balance of address method. And then they take the first four bytes, which is that. And then they take the first four bytes of the next signature. And then they or them all together and they end up with that number. Which is, let's say, in the RC seven twenty one. Okay, so with that knowledge, since it's 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 a little beyond me as far as computer programming goes, do you believe that you have what you need if we were going to create our own NFT contract that we would just make sure we would follow? I mean, I know th this came from Gitcoin originally, and like I was telling you, there's probably easier ways to pull it off than what Kevin did. Yeah, I mean, when but, I did mine, I started with Open Zeppelin has samples that are fairly robust. Yeah, because he had like roles in his that, that. Yeah, I don't know if that really mattered. Ownable was important, but I think there's there's better ways to do it now. We got the math, and then we've got the the interfaces. Just it's, I think it's just two interfaces, seven twenty ones. Mm -hmm. I E R C. 721 IERC 721 that innumerable must be what allows you to get a list of what the tokens are yeah token of owner by index so you can so just a regular 721 doesn't have that get token of owner by index or get token by index well then it also has the metadata one too well, but the, the metadata one is standard on the 721 in general. Okay, so we don't really get any... But the, the enumerable is the one that adds those ability to pull the tokens by index. And to iterate over them and to get the token supply, yeah. Okay. This still doesn't allow us to pull our own caching of everything happening on chain no it, it, yeah it doesn't this still doesn't enable us to find to a random tokens in general well, that doesn't seem to be a deal breaker right i mean there's well yeah i mean what we want to do yeah, for yeah. my meta is to display all of a user's nfts and so we don't know where those are. We have to. We need some system to tell us where they are. Oh, what I'm saying is there could be, I mean, a curated list at some point because there's just so much garbage out there in the world. People's Web3 addresses could just go on and on and on and just junk and airdrops and everything. Yes. So at some point, it might not even be reasonable just to have that sort of query of everything. It would be for metagame people, it's like, hey, we all get the chance to list up our top 20 NFT 
NFTs that we love or the collections and all of a sudden that becomes the metagame whitelist and then every once in a while someone will be like hey can you get this one on the whitelist and I guess we could have pinned the whitelist because I don't know what the yeah. I mean there is kind of a value of querying everything in the world all the time but resources may become limited and we just want to really just query you know certain ones I don't know yeah I mean the thing is is it would be I think it would be difficult given just how many of these projects pop up in a given week to, to to figure out which ones and there's so many different people and yeah well look from my perspective maybe let's say that i wanted to control my profile i mean we're letting me control my profile and put all of these little fields in there what if i could just create my own array of yeah. you know just like separated with a comma give us all the smart contract addresses of your collections and then then that then that'll show up on my profile only the ones i want people to see Right. Yes. Well, what I, seem the, too the, the the planned feature currently is for you to be able to create collections with for it to show you all of your NFTs that it can find, and for you to be able to create collections with those, and for you to be able to order the, the NFTs within the collections, and also specify which collection should show up on your profile. Is the idea which. We've got to get the NFTs working again before we can do that. And you're, and you're saying that that got, uh, um, like Tommy, you said somebody else had said that he was going to work on that. Fira, there's a there's an open issue for the Open C API being broken, and Fira Story said that they were going to work on it, but I haven't heard anything recently it's been a few days since he was since he said he was going to do something with it okay where should we jump from here um i don't know because i was i was thinking about looking at the achievement code but i saw a message from luxumbra saying that the original author of the code said it should be abandoned it should be abandoned. Yeah, it just, he said it would be easier to start from scratch and do something else. That it was too much of a hack. And also, they're planning on working on it at four a.m. next Tuesday, nine o'clock nine o'clock a.m. Universal time, but four a.m. here. Do you want to look at it to familiarize ourselves with it, just as like background? Does do we get any mileage out of that? I I think we'll be. I think I think I'll be okay. Just. Okay hopping in on the call because i'm not even sure if they're going to use it i really wish that this polygon graph worked i'm going to real quick go to well yeah i'll do it I, i'm going to go to the graph site and see if there's another polygon nft graph okay because it's possible that someone else created one I'm I'm a little bit worried that um that that the graph is has been overhyped and that it's it's a cool idea and but that the implementation is not as solid as I'm hoping. I hope that that's not the case. It's kind of what I've been feeling since day one. Kind of I'm like, oh okay. We got this language here that maybe we should be implementing this on our own. But if we start to become dependent on you guys doing it for us, all of a sudden, if if your thing gets confusing, we're kind of stuck. So my goal on it would be to learn the gra uh, graph QL more so than the graph. Uh -huh. But it uh, it's like me trying to say that we should circumvent Infira. I finally just capitulated. And I just run everything with my Infira nodes because then I don't run my own blockchains anymore like I used to. Gotcha. So because that's why I keep going back and says, why don't we just query this directly? And then most people say, because it's a performance thing. And I go, well, why don't we just query what we want then? And then we just hold our own. We just hold our own caches. Well, the graph makes it so easy. Okay. It's not easy for me quite yet. No. Hmm. 
Let's try. And part of the problem is, is that I, I, their interface could be better. Because I don't know how. Like, I want to search for things that are inner that are indexing the polygon chain. And that are doing 721s. And there's not, like, it looks like I'm just searching by whatever the name of the... Whatever the gra whatever this particular instance of the graph happens to be named, these subgraphs, whatever these subgraphs are named. Arbitrary drop rates. Let me watch your screen for a little while, okay. so if I can, yeah, let me, let me pick up what you're working on. Okay, so I'm going to try this one. So, let's see what the example query returns. Well, that's right. This is where we left off last week, right? Just this is, this right. is, so before I was on... I was looking at this graph. Which one was it? It was this polygon ERC20, 721, and 1155. This is the one that I was looking at before. This is a different ERC721 polygon subgraph. I'm going to try to query it. Well, ultimately, the goal is to be able to query one that at least you or I have access to deploying. Like, if I if I got to go out and create or search for a new one, I will. But it seems like if we could just find the closest model we like. I mean, an NFT, as long as it has the fields that, you know, everybody needs, that's part of the battle. And then we want some custom tags in there. We want some custom fields to do some cool stuff. So it can become metagame kind of specific. Do you um, have a, a, a strong opinion of 721 versus 1155? Um, I, I don't have a strong opinion because the 721 is kind of kind of where my head is still stuck, except 1155 allows for efficiencies, it sounds like, right? Yeah. Do a batch drops and it, it saves on gas. So I think I would love to support the 1155. I just haven't had it presented in front of me where I've needed to deploy one yet. Gotcha. And even it's like I'm still stuck on an NFT being a one of one if it was an important document or an important digital asset. It's like, why why do you need those continue to be minted on a specific contract? And somebody would say, well, because you want to know that it's open C minted or it's, you know, super rareable minted. Well, the reason I would want to do that is if I knew there was some customization with it that a UI knew how to pick up. So it's almost like if we do this the right way, we're going to build the UI that knows how to query our NFTs that are minted and delivered to participants the most efficient way possible, which probably means it's an 1155. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I generally, I like 1155. I've not done a 721. I've only done an 1155. Then let's stick with 1155. I mean, I okay. want to, you're way more skilled than me when it comes to programming. So I'm going to have to adapt to where you're at. So I don't slow you down and say a bunch of things that just simply are correct within computer programming. I make a lot of guesses and then adjust as I go. Where if you already basically understand an 1155, let's pick one we like and then deploy it. Starting on yeah. Rinkaby and then then moving it to a Polygon when we're comfortable to start actually minting assets off of it. But we will want to customize it to take advantage of some things that we want to be metagame specific. Like potentially firing off some event so at least we know that it'll be very easy for us to cache back any NFT, 1155, that at least had those properties to make our, our caching more efficient. 
OpenC won't know how to query it, but 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 we will because we wrote the smart contract to do so. Um, do you have a Polygon, an address that has NFTs on Polygon? Yes. You- um, yeah, my Regency one, Regency.f. Um, well, but that doesn't show up on Polygon. I'll just paste it in. Yeah. I think it's region. If not, we'll have to check the um the ten fifty one. This looks like. I mean, this is the sample code. This is the same sample code that was. On the other contract, but this is a different instance, if nothing else. So let me try it. I don't know what an operator is. Yeah, and and maybe we should just look at the one of ones, like just to start. Because they'll be easy to query on Polygon. So go ahead, after you finish that, um, you can. Oh no, you have my address right there. Yeah. If you put that in Polygon Scan, you'll actually have a smart contract that I deployed that you should be able to query. So yeah, uh, I don't gonna screw this right now because I really don't know. Well, I, I'll look at it for a second. I don't know how to do it. I mean, I, I've not. So if I have a count. It would really be nice if they had a little description of what these various fields were. If I had to guess, I think the ID is going to be the token ID, right? Did we determine that? Not the smart contract. Or, yeah, no, I think the ID was the smart contract. D- do this. Take my address and put it in Polygon Scan. Let's go to my one of my one of one, 721s. Okay. Paste the address there, and then just scroll down that list. Uh, go into the 721s. Uh, it's right in the middle of the screen, just below the banner. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize there. this existed for Polygon. Yeah, and then scroll down and just look mm-hmm. until my first one that says like one of one. Like just where it has a one? Uh, no, down two more rows. Oh, um, one of one. Okay, one of, I, see, I, yeah, see, yeah. I see. Click on any of those one of one where it says R NFT. Probably not that. Well, yeah, okay, that's an R. Okay, so that's fine. So now let's see if I had published that um, smart contract. Yeah, click that. Or just actually click the link and, and scroll down. Good. Uh, so I verified the contract. So click where the green check mark is. Okay. 
and now we should be able to get everything from that code right there. So if you go into the code, you should be able to query any of those um, using the graph. See how it says like token ID and we've got the smart con address now. We can even get the ABI if we needed it. If you scroll down. Because maybe you do need the ABI. Oh, I forgot about Yeah, graph. this is the thing where it it makes the window larger, but it doesn't actually display. I, I didn't realize that I wasn't looking at the whole thing. So we could even, if you wanted to even cut that out and throw it in VS Code, it's going to be easier for us to look at. But this is... There you go. There's that 80AC. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So this is a 721. Okay. Um, and if you save it as a dot SOL, it should lint properly. That fixed it, I think. So we could even build a, now. If you know the graph well enough, we could just build a a subgraph off of this pretty easily. I mean, easier said than done because I don't build subgraphs. I, I think I understand the concept, but you probably know what you're looking at. Yeah, that's going to be the JSON right there. Hopefully, All right. Should be. Okay, so I'm going to try this real quick. Sure, do whatever you want. Only going to assume that it is not here. Okay. See, I just, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Well, symbol, we, we know what symbol is, right? So you, we've even seen you're able to query symbol. So we should be at least be able to query back our RNFT because this one's even named. And this is, again, it's not returning. It's not matching on the ID. It's just returning random... Hang on. Let's try this ID. And so I think that that's querying correctly, but it's just not there. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know what it is that I'm not con – I'm going to try something real quick, actually. Sure. So let me try token contracts, and then I think I can do first. Yeah, first – Five ID name and symbol. Okay, so now I have this ID. 
And if it's what I think it is, then I should be able to put it in here and see the routes token. Routes NFC uh, badges. So that works. But this other one isn't in there and I don't I don't get it. Do you want to query like would it know how to go look for all smart contracts that start with, you know, whatever my smart contract started with? And see if it can at least parse like it in out the, of that uh, list. Do a string match on the name? Yeah. Or, or yeah, the, not the name, but the actual, the hat, the, what's showing up there in 0x.0077 in the first instance. But let's just go to mine and see if it can just find, find all smart contracts that start out with whatever mine was, CE14 or something. There's a name contains. Because it's probably in that list, right? That list on the right-hand side is probably thousands long, right? Yes. So just go to mine and just let's say it must contain, yeah. Or or, or actually the number, the contract number is must contain 0x4E116 or something. Well, hey, yeah, so I currently have name contains. So let me see if what this does. You can do I, what I meant with ID contain. But yeah, try it with name contain. Try it on that. I don't know for sure that name contains actually does a substring search. Oh, it does. <laughs> okay, can you do that instead of name contains? Can you do ID contains? Oh. And then go back to Polygon Scan and well, just grab, you know. It looks like I've got greater than, less than, in, not, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not in. Where in will search through in a, a list of... How about starts with? There's not a, There's not one oh. for starts with. There's only oh. these. Um... Well, that's interesting because then it, it's treating the ID as actually a, an integer, isn't it? Because it can't. There's no greater than or less than 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 smart contract numbers. That that doesn't that make any sense. Is true. I hadn't really considered that, but that sounds that sounds logical to me. So maybe all those IDs that we're querying, querying are like where somebody screwed up and somehow put a transaction in where there should have been an unsigned integer. And that's why you're getting this weird query back where you think you're getting results and all you're getting is garbage. Let me try. Let me try this real quick. Hang on. Because I'm not still not convinced that the ID is actually the smart contract. It's not every time we've seen ID, it's usually connected to the actual token. Somewhere between a nonce and actually the NF, the non fungible part of the token, which is a unique number. I just don't get it. Okay, can you do the same thing with the um the what were the choices for the name or the symbol? Can you just query a symbol? Theoretically, let's see what it. Okay, let's, let's see if you can do R N F T or here, like U S A or something. Where? You know, contains and maybe just two letters together. Something. It's the same thing. It's it's just giving you greater or less things. 
He did have greater than and less than, which yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense for strings. It's alpha, but alphabetic. It does, but the other one didn't have contains. There was no... Okay, so do it again. Now do... It's it's starting to query them you know, under symbol. It has yeah, to what have an was RT it? R, it. Was it RT? R, RT? R, 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 no, RNFT. For region C and FT. Ta-da! There it is. Okay, the token contracts are there's three different token contracts, but well, actually the only the first not, one, only the first. Only the one. first one is mine. So we were even like, so the idea is different. So we'll put that in Polygon Scan. Let's paste that in there and see which one that is. And that doesn't sound like my one of one. That was probably my Gitcoin version of it. Scroll down and look at the contract. Okay, so click contract. It doesn't look like I verified it, but is yeah. this okay. one newer or older than the one we were just looking at? Do I have transactions on it? Is this it, one so is. It looks like just two, it. Yeah. 228 days or 161 days. And it looks like it was a one of one. If you look to the right hand side, create a one of one. So I deployed it and I, I fired. Oh, hey, look, the contract is verified. Click that. The well, this is mark. no, this is this oh. is the one that we were looking at before. I switched back oh, okay. to it to see. Oh, I see. But you should now be able to now that we've got a smart contract, you should be able to query something off of that smart contract because we were able to identify it. So if you go back into the graph, there should give you enough information from there to now do something with that 336 that's going to be standard. Like you should be able to either call like the, um, that implementation number or something like that. It's like all of those things are now available to us that would be part of a standard NFT. It's interesting to me. I'm wondering if the names, it's surely the names aren't unique. No, but the ID will be. That's that's. Well, yeah, so but I'm one. I find it interesting that there's only one of each type. Well, now that we have that ID, can can you go in there and just run a query on that ID? Now that we know that's the ID, it seemed like you were able to query stuff when you had one of those last week. Yes. So if I Except do I didn't it, really where do ID? Anything. Let me look. Hang on. Let me look at this. So a token Maybe. contract has a name symbol. I know what I need to do. I need to get you a different. Uh, I need to get you a different NFT name. One that maybe I, I minted off of. Like I didn't mint any off of the RNFTs. So there's not much we're going to be able to find out of it. I, I got it for you. Yeah, let me see what this does. Okay. I wish I could tell it to stop querying. <laughs> Did you post something in the dungeon walls? Where, where, you, where do you have something? Um, do the same query and do it. This is not mine, but this is where I minted a bunch off of it. Um, and it's called NFM. So do your same query when you get a chance, and instead of doing RNFT, do NFM. So what was it? It was... When you are querying the names, yeah. No, I'm just trying to remember what I oh. just had typed in. I was ty typed in... Oh, shit. I guess it was tokens. Token contracts. Where? Symbol contains. N N F M. F -M. N and actually, if you get the whole thing, it's a lowercase v. Two. Okay. Non-fungible Matic V2. That's it. 
Now hang on, I want to try this. Actually, now you should be able to query like an ID or something. There's 2,500 there of them? Try it. Now we should be able to now take it one step further and get, now we should be able to query a specific token, which would like go get token 100 or go get token 200. And we should be able to now pull the URI. Bam. There we are, man. We're on our way. This is what I want to have happen in general, and it's been frustrating how difficult it's been. Sometimes when the IPFS campaign is running, though, it will cause... IPFS links to not. Okay, so test cat 45 image. Yeah, that doesn't even look like a full. I mean, is that, I guess that's the bare minimums for a 721? Um, there's no specific. I mean, there are theoretically a, a standard for what's supposed to be in the metadata, but it's not. There's no requirement so far as the contract's concerned. What's in the metadata is is separate from the contract. That's right. It's just not going to show properly on OpenSea. It won't yeah. have any assets that it needs because there's nothing in that JSON that it, that it except for the image. So the image yeah. would show, but it doesn't have any tags or anything in there. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's cool. So. To, let's not forget what you just did because now we were able to prove as long as we, if we can identify the contract by name, now yeah. we can just query whatever we want to get the URIs. And now we're, now we're down to, well, now how do we, how do we run a graph that's going to query at least a white list of the tokens that we want queried? And I know it's it's not the ultimate, but I could simply go into my accounts and say, well, you got to like query my Ethereans. You got to query my, you know, my personal NFTs on my own contract. want to query all the metagame one, you know, for all of our players. And we could start there. So... And at, at, least, at least things will show on my meta until we all the open seat. Let me try this again. This is what I was trying before. So I want tokens... Where owner yeah use mine use yeah that's owner what i want to do okay owner. yeah hang on because i know on. i have these yeah i'm just gonna try this owner okay so we're owner Or symbol. Okay, so CryptoVoxel's name boom, is boom, 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 boom. and CryptoVoxel's name. So there are multiple. Hang on. No, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, because that's all I've really done on Polygon. If you'd done that query on Main Chain, there's probably going to be a lot more in there. But yeah, this is what I want to be able to pull is just the list of NFTs and owned by this person. And that would we would query all of our players. Yep. 
Okay. Cool. Well, now can now ahead. can we extract out the URI? Yeah, I can copy. I mean, I've got the the token URI here. So by doing that, we would just create our own caching mechanism of that. Then we just dump them all into our database, or just like, yeah, just query it on the fly. Yeah, no, I, we would we would cache it so that we could because we need to keep meta information about which NFTs are in which collections, and then which Is collection. This on Go Is ahead. Polygon. I have a Julia fractal on Polygon. Maybe I did one yes. of them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so the right, and so I wrote that NFT. So all of those fields down there, that one's actually cool because it like just kind of self. Is actually is that an image or is that actually code that's running? One of them it's is an, just, just code. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is an image. Yeah, it's go, an image. Dude, check this out. Go into that. Go into the NFT again. The actual URL, and then go down to where it says. Um, I think it's the uh, one of those auto generates image document region. You, you could try the external URL, put that in there and see what happens. One of those, it's just a script that runs. It looks like an image, but it's not. It's actually a living. It's a living fractal that continues to move. Yeah. So oh. check this out. So if you just wait, and all it's so it's not an image, and this will start moving, and it just keeps iterating to infinity. Really, so yeah, it's starting to move. Yeah, and if you watch it for a while, and it's it's just like it's just the fractal. It's like one of the Mandelbrot, the Julius at Mandelbrot fractal, and it just starts tripping out on its own. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like we're definitely making progress can make progress on um on some sort of graph yeah i think and i think i'm it, getting a basic grasp of graphql to where i think i kind of know sort of what i'm doing some of the time okay so now go back to the nft or at least the the uri or the um the json so what we can do is if we're going to write our own you know, NFT, the contract we want to deploy, I mean, you and I will figure out which one we want, that it's going to have the 1155 standard. But what we want to do is we want to buff out this JSON because this JSON, we can put so much into it. Not only what OpenSea wants to see, so it shows up great on OpenSea, but things that we can do within our own interface. And it'll sort of the sky's the limit there. And you'll see in here, it's like pretty buffed out. The tags, OpenSea knows how to query them. But yeah. if you scroll further down, there's things down there that OpenSea wouldn't even know to look for, like those document one, document two, AV file, chain yeah. ID. Those are things that we can force into it that we know what to do with once we go query that URI. Yeah. We're just going to pull that forward and go, oh, yeah, now go go out to Polygon. Oh, wait, no, this one is for Ethereum main chain. And then we'll just make those changes like automatically on the fly, depending on the, the, the NFT that we're querying. Because we're not going to know how to extract the data we need out of it from this URI, uh, from this JSON file. Yeah, it makes sense. Cool. Okay. Well, All right. Do you want to do you want to call it a day now? Yeah, I feel like we okay. put in not a huge amount of time, but quality work. We got that pull request wrapped up and found that really it's only skills that are still broken and whatever caused your profile to get overwritten initially, which I'm, I'm going to have to do some debugging on that. But yeah, it's cool. been helpful and I've enjoyed our time as always. Yeah. And then for next week, I'll, I'll continue to, I know you were on the call, but I don't know how much you were listening. I'll try to continue on with what the medical lab thing in my mind is supposed to look like. Yeah. And then next week, maybe around the same time, I'll at least like give you a quick tour of it. It's still not ready for prime time, mm -hmm. but maybe next week it will be. And that way we'll get some eyes on it. We'll see if it could just fold into the metagame easily, or if we should just continue to develop it as like a standalone, mm -hmm. knowing that what we want to do is extract certain aspects of it to plug into metagame to align with the quest. But medical collab can operate on its own also because it's just a good tool to have, you know? So 
we'll continue to talk about that. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Bye.